Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be opening up the Tribe Beauty box slash bag. This is new for my channel and for me. I'm super, super excited. So in case you didn't know, Tribe Beauty box is bi-monthly, so it's every other month. It's $34.99 um, every other month. And you're supposed to get like five to six full-size beauty items and uh, your value should be over $125. So I did already have a sneak peek inside and at the end of this video will be the try on portion so you'll get to see some of the items in action but without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in I love the packaging it's so cute um, so I'm gonna pull out the card here that does go over all of the items inside of the box and the first thing is this and this is the masquerade sweet retreat mini sheet mask and it's really really cute i love the girl on the front and then on the back it has all kinds of little cute sweets so this is like a mini mask it has 12 mini masks that are shaped in all different kinds of sweets that you can kind of put on different parts of your face i think that's really really cute so okay so this is the masquerade beauty fun line mask and this comes in at five dollars us stressed spelled backwards is dessert so a better way to relax and renew than with our mini mask skin treats so the benefits are um it hydrates skin it helps to even skin tone fight signs of aging and helps prevent skin's moisture loss so that's really really cute I'm looking forward to doing this I might even do this with my stepdaughter I think that she would really enjoy all the fun different like dessert shapes for the masks Alrighty, next up is this, and this is from Dr. Botanicals. This is the Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. So there we go, and I have heard of this brand before. This is also vegan friendly, and um, that's what the bottle looks like. So it's just like in a nice little dropper form. I am going through quite a few facial oils, so I'm not gonna open this up, but it does look a little empty to me. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I just being kind of picky? Um, the bottle says you're supposed to get 1.01 fluid ounce, but I don't know, we'll have to see. So, all right, this is the Dr. Botanicals. This isn't even on my card. Okay, so let's just read the box. It just says infused with vitamins, essential oils, and botanical extracts for a brighter, more even skin tone. The next thing is this, and this is something that I've gotten before in, I think, my BoxyCharm or one of my boxes. I don't know, but this is the Redial Mascara XXL, and I like it. I'll show you at the end of the video how it applies. Um, so this is the Glamolash Mascara XXL in black. This is worth $29. So it says, with the long wear formula, this ensures eyelashes are maximized from day to night. Contains beeswax for lash conditioning, carnauba wax for even adherence to prevent clumping, and soluble collagen to provide full body to lashes with added shine. And I have mine right here, so that way I can show you the wand. It is just kind of like a traditional wand. It has a slight little curve to it, but it is really good at like getting at the base of the lashes and um, it helps to really curl them. So I do like using this. Moving right along, I have this, and this is the Chrome Glaze from Pure. It's a high shine lip gloss. And let's see, this value's at $18, so it's dual side. So one side is a little bit more, oh, it's not dual side, it's one side. So this is in the shade Rebel. It says lightweight, highly pigmented lip color utilizes gel technology to coat lips in vivid color and shine. So it looks like you could have either gotten Rebel or another shade which was Innocent. Um, so I'm not like the biggest fan of this kind of color lipstick. It is really, really pretty and Pure is a really good brand, but I just know that for me personally, I have such petite lips as I like to say that darker colors just tend to make them look smaller. So this I will be passing along. Anyway, yeah, this is going to be going into a giveaway. And as I like to say, last but certainly not least, here is the star of the show. This is the Lorac Pro, the chocolate box um, eyeshadow palette. It does have some highlighters in there as well. This is what I used at the end of the video to create the look that you see on right now. It is absolutely stunning, you guys. When I say this palette is beautiful, this palette is 
mind-blowingly beautiful and it works so good like the pigments are amazing so this is the Lorac cosmetics chocolate box palette and this is valued at forty three dollars and seventy four cents so that right there pays well over for the box um so let's just do a few swatches i have there's like some really cool duochrome colors so this is crunch so this has like a little bit of a pink shade um, I also used Chocolate Truffle. That's my inner corner highlight. That's right there. Um, raspberry Ganache, which is that right there. That is so, so pretty. And then let's do one more matte. Let's do, let's do Strawberries and Cream. So there are some colors right there. And I'm going to do some swatches. Hopefully my swatches... My swatch game is not the best, you guys. Like, I am just not the best at swatches. Hopefully one day I will work on that. But there you can see um, that came off a little choppy. But let's try to build it up. And you'll see it in the trial and portion how they work. They work really, really well. I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous. I'm just so in love with this palette. And um, I don't know, I could see myself reaching for it quite a bit. There's just so many variations of colors that you could do. And then um, the highlighters are really nice too. Those are nice and creamy. So all in all, I enjoyed this palette quite a bit and I really love the way that my eye look turned out. Okay, so really quickly, let's go over everything that we got in our Tribe Beauty box for this month, I guess, for this two months. So we have the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. We have the Redial Mascara XXL, the Glamo Lash. We have the Pure Chrome Glaze High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Rebel, which is beautiful. It's just not for me. We have the Multi-Masking Mask from Masquerade. And then we have the Lorac Pro Chocolate Box Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, I have such a hard time saying that. But anyway, um, I enjoyed it so much. I can't wait for the next bi-monthly subscription to come out. I have no doubt it's going to be gorgeous. And let me know what y'all think about this hair. I just threw in a little bit of hair. Y'all know this is not all mine. Um, and I did a set on it, and the set didn't turn out really, really good. So anyway, I'm still struggling. I'm still trying. But let me know if it looks okay. <laughs> All right, so now let's go on to the try-on portion where you get to see me try on the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so thanks for sticking around for the try-on portion. We're gonna be using the La Rock Pro, the chocolate box palette. So I'm really excited to crack into this. I also don't have any highlighter on, so we're gonna be getting into the highlighters as well. Go ahead and dive right in. I'm just gonna do something kind of simple with some sparkle. So first I'm going to go in with um, a fluffy 224 from MAC. I think I'm going to do, let's start off with this color right here called Toasted. And I'm just going to pick that up on my brush and fluff that into the crease. Has nice pigmentation to it. And I'm just going to kind of build this up and blow it out. There is a lot of kick up in the pan. Um, but that doesn't really bother me. It's not like it's a big deal or anything to me. All right, so that's what we have right there. Then I'm gonna go a little bit darker. I think I'm gonna go into this shade called Fudge. And I'm just gonna use the same brush and kind of do the same thing that I was just doing. But maybe keeping it further down, not taking it up as high. So I'm not using my brush to really bring it up too, too high. I'm kind of keeping it more so in the crease area. And I like a very blown out effect. Okay, grabbing a different brush. Let's see. I'm gonna use my JH uh, Morphe. This is the JH34, just a little bit more of a tapered, stiffer brush. And I'm gonna go into the color Raspberry right here, which is more of like a pinky red. And I'm gonna focus that on the outside edges. I'm kind of stamping and pressing and just kind of keeping it just on that outside edge and dragging what's left on the brush onto the lid. That got real pink real fast. I'm just going to go back into Toasted again just to kind of 
calm it down a little bit and blend out any harsh edges. That's a really good transition shade for me, that toasted color. All right, and then to deepen up the very outside edge, I'm gonna stick with this JH brush. I'm gonna go into Divine, which is this even darker shade right here. This is like a burgundy, very pigmented. And this I'm gonna keep even lower and just on that outer V, that outer edge area. Okay, so now I'm gonna basically mimic that same thing on the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between toasted and fudge, run that underneath my lower lash line. I like it nice and blown out. And then what color should we do for the lid? I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do peanut brittle which is just such a pretty color. I love that. And I'm just gonna apply that straight to the lid. And I'm using my fingers. I don't have any nails on right now, so. And I'm, I'm not using this wet. I'm just kind of applying it dry just to kind of see what I can get with it dry. And then I'm gonna go in with Champagne Truffle for like my inner corner highlights. Ugh, that is gorgeous. Look at that pop. I love it. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that in as well. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, this palette is amazing. So now I'm gonna do my highlight and I think I'm just gonna go back and forth between the bittersweet and the toasted coconut. Just kind of dibble dabble in both. Tip of the nose, a little bit between my eyes. And a little bit on the apples of my cheeks, why not? Love it, I am super, super impressed with this. You could create so many looks, like I am pumped. Like this is probably my favorite um, eyeshadow palette that I've gotten in a long time in a subscription box. I'm just going to now move on to the mascara. So I am putting on the Redial Glamour Lash Mascara XXL. We received this in um, the bag also. This is mine. I've gotten this before, I think, in a BoxyCharm. So I'm just going to put a coat of that on. It's okay. It does, um, do a good job at lengthening and um, giving a little bit of like a curl to the lash. So you can see that's with and without. You can definitely build it up to get it to be a little bit more dramatic. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish this up and then um, put on a pair of lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the finished and final look. I did just put on a pair of lashes. This is the Lash Couture Faux Meat Collection from Kiss in the style Gala. And then I put on my favorite lip combo right now, which is the Pout On Point Lip Pencil from my Ipsy Glam Bag. And then the Sugar Rush Sugar Coat Liquid Lipstick from my Glam Bag Plus. So I have that on my lips. But I really, really loved the palette and I really, really enjoyed my first Tribe Beauty box. Please like and subscribe. Let me know down below if you enjoyed these try-on kind of videos. I would love to do more. I had a lot of fun doing this one. So thanks so much guys for watching and until next time, bye.